what's happening everybody it's blood Reich here thank you for tuning in to this episode of the wine cellar metal gear solid people this is a classic classic game uh we're gonna just jump right in normal mode oops um, uh that's right circle is confirmed in this game kind of like uh, some of the old school final fantasies so, um, when it comes to this, um, I actually own three, so I own this game, VR mission training or whatever, and I also have the Japanese version of Metal Gear. Obviously, I do not have a compatible console for the Japanese version, but um, also, I kind of don't see a point in playing the VR training. It's literally just a training simulator. Uh, you know, if, if like you wanted more, uh, I know it. I'm going to swap down a couple of bombers and flies. Um, you know, if if uh, you wanted like more tactical training or just challenges for uh, Metal Gear, that's what it's there for. And I just I feel like it's just not necessarily not necessary not necessary to play. Wow, I can't talk. Um, so we're just going to focus just on Metal Gear Solid and then move on to the next game that's in my collection from there. It's been uh, quite some time since I played the original Metal Gear. Um, this is Snake. So Colonel, can you hear see, me? We'll see Loud how, and clear. how bad I do What's here. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface, but make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codex receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. Let's do this. Controls. Okay. So your accessory, your weapon if you have any. <coughs> First person view. Footprints for these. Oh, I think a uh, square is like, like to like choke somebody. Oh. 
definitely remember giving this game a lot of attention um, back when it first came out because um, the actually the the first time I ever played a Metal Gear game was actually the VR trading. Um, it's a weird way to get introduced to the series, um, and then I ended up finding, you know, getting Metal Gear Solid, uh, you know, a little while after. So it's fairly, you know, familiar with the controls. Um, wasn't used to the whole like having to be like super sneaky because the VR training. Um, I mean, it goes over it, but it, it's not, you know, like this where you know being sneaky is as possible is you know the goal it's snake i'm in front of the disposal facility excellent snake age hasn't slowed you down one bit how's that sneaking suit working out i'm nice and dry but it's a little hard to move bear with it it's designed to prevent hypothermia this is alaska you know take it easy i'm grateful if it weren't for your suit and your shot i would have turned into a popsicle out there an anti-freezing peptide snake all of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. That's right. It's like he talks about him getting a shot. Behind D. Colonel. What's a Russian gunship doing here? I have no idea, but it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. Eighteen hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, you must be crazy to fly a hind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. It's an honor to work with this legendary solid Snake. <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. Come on. I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous solid Snake. But uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a train killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Um, yeah. If you've ever I'm checked it out, to it's, about um, the I think Eagle the Raptor engine. of the but Game Grumps did. Let me did, explain about your radar um, system. Did the first one? It's called Metal Gear Awesome. The bright dot should, in the middle is you. It's, it's really funny. The red dots are your enemy. <clears throat> yeah, we 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 know how this game works, so we're just gonna skip that. Snake, your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to record your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Remember, except for your binoculars, you're naked. You need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip-searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip-search on me. I'll hold you to that, Doctor. By the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. 
cigarettes. How are those going to help you? You never know. If you want to get in, there's the front door. It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. Uh, there's one sentry on the left and one on the right. They're armed with five five sixers and pineapples. What about the air duct near the door? There should also be a duct on the second floor. I can't see it from here. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. And we're back. All right. First and foremost, I need to go get my gun. And I believe it's in... Where's that truck? That truck that you can... It's right there. Just gonna watch out for that one sentry. Surveillance camera? <laughs> go, go, go. There we go. Sleeping right there. Yeah, there's. Hmm. Can I actually sneak by him if I crawl? Oh, I don't think so. I think I would actually have to take him out. I think the best way that I can get there without like making a bunch of noise and racket is um At least I only took one shot. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised with how how long it's been since I've played some of these games. That um, <laughs> you know, especially like you know newer ones, making a lot. You know, Snake, there's a lot more tactical stuff. This is McDonald Miller. It's been a long time, Master. What are you doing here? I quit being a drill instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? <laughs> Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you. 
So call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.80. Sorry, the Solaton radar won't work in a narrow space. Oh. Too much harmonic resonance. The radio waves produce interference and we can't analyze the topographic data. Try to hang on until you get to a more... <laughs> oh, okay. I thought it wasn't gonna let me save. I was gonna be like, wait, what? <laughs> First floor basement. What about the vent shaft cleaning? They just opened the vent covers. I'm about to start spraying for rats. First floor basement ventilation shaft. Shut those covers as soon as they're done spraying. Also, keep your eye on that woman in the cell. Don't get careless now. Woman in the cell? Did something happen? There's an intruder. Really? He's already done three people. He's killed three people? Yeah. Say so he's using stealth, too. Stealth? There's an intruder besides me? Anyway, I want you to increase the security detail on the chief. Press the action button to drop down. Thank you. That's a ration, so I don't think I need that. Yeah, can't hold more than two right now. Use the elevator to change floors. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it. Gotcha. Some chafe grenades. Not be seen by a camera this time. So 
one bus and that dude turns around. Yep. Look at the radar. It's picking up the DARPA chief. He's the green dot. Hurry and rescue him. Okay. It's like a lot easier said than done. <clears throat> Snake, if you want to go up or down a left. Oops. Snake, if you Thank you. Built all right. Gross. <laughs> nice. Don't know what the hell uh, SOCOM bullets are doing. You know, hiding in a, in a ventilation shaft, but. Chief signal is coming from somewhere in that area. Isn't there some place to drop down? Take a look around in first person view mode. Like I've been doing that. Save you. You're the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, right? You're here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent here to save your worthless butt. Really? <laughs> no. It's really. true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? It's possible. They could launch a nuke. Uh, what? How do they plan to launch? I thought this place was just for keeping the dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. What I'm about to tell you is classified information. Okay? Okay. We're conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A weapon that will change the world. 
what? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. A nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. Metal Gear... It can't be... You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? Oh, I have experience. We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. So that's the reason you were here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? I had heard the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary, it's grown into a huge joint project between Arms Tech and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data and then proceed to mass production. If it hadn't been for the revolution. Revolution? Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex. Metal Gear Rex. The code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. They've probably already finished arming the warhead they plan to use with Rex. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping weapons. Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? But I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you mean PAL. Yes, of course, there is a PAL. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes. Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of arms tech. That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But... They found out my password. You talked? Psychomantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Psychomantis? One of the what members the of Fox Town. He has psychic powers. This is bad. <laughs> it's just a matter of time before they get Baker's too. If they find out Baker's password... Yes. They'll be able to launch a nuke anytime. But there is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? They were designed by Armstead, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. That card key? So where are the keys? Baker should have them. Listen, you need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay, three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him to an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes. They cemented over the entrances, but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a pan card. It works together with your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as the transmission medium. As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just yeah. said no. <laughs> so does the White House plan to give in to the terrorists' demands? That's their problem. 
It has nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? The Pentagon? What is it? Naomi, the chief. What happened? I... I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but... A heart attack? No. Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not. Snake, you've got to understand. This op is security level red. You need the highest security clearance to get access to the complete file. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I told you. The Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. Snake, we don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker. It's like, um, how? So you killed the chief, you bastard! Liquid? No, you're not. Don't move! Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. <sighs> Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful, I'm no rookie. Liar. That nervous glance, that scared look in your eyes. They're rookies' eyes if I ever saw them. You've never shot a person, am I right? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie! You're not one of them, are you? Open that door. You've got a card, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out of here. Looks like we'll be a little delayed. What are you doing? Don't think, shoot! Don't think, shoot! Oops. What are you waiting for? Shoot! Don't talk to me like a rookie! I'm telling you, shoot! You 
killed him! I'm sorry, sir. His mental shielding was very strong. I could not dive into his mind. Now we'll never get that detonation code. Boss, I have a good idea. <laughs> I just have an idea. Good idea. Later. have to see expressions on mistake space to be like hey, uh, I just had some kind of hallucination is it from the nano machines no snake the nano machines are functioning properly so what was it it must have been psychometric interference coming from psychomantis foxhound psychic think of it as a mental feedback loop so that was mantis oops <laughs> Poor Johnny. Right there, I think there's a ration in. Dark Chief died. Cool. All right, guys. Well, we uh, we got pretty far in this uh, run. If you guys definitely want to see more of that, let us know in the comments. I'm gonna get go ahead and get our save on here. <clears throat> what is it, Snake? I just want to save. That's it. All right. Oops. Oh, I don't need another file. Damn it. Oh, Snake, well. listen to what Lo Chi said. He who knows that enough is enough will always have enough. Just because you see an item doesn't mean that you always have to get it. If you don't really need it, think twice before you stick your neck out. It might not be worth it. <laughs> kind of point all right guys well thank you so much for tuning in if you guys want to see more of uh, the playthrough of metal gear solid one let us know in the comments below and we will see you guys on the next one stay grooving